Fetchy, how you do cousins? I'm about to get into some of these matchbooks. You're gonna watch me sort them. I'm gonna pull out the first rounds of stuff to sell, and I'm gonna put L1, as in lot number one of matchbooks, in to eBay. And then in a week or two, when the first round gets sold, we'll see how quickly I was able to make my $135 back off of this lot. Let's take a look. Rusty, how have found you? All right, cousins, here we go. I had to get down low, but I wanted you to be able to see these as I'm pulling through them. I'm going to dump a box. I'm going to start pulling them out, and we're going to see what I find. All right, let's take a look. Let me get myself in position here. I got myself a little box just like this. I'm going to put the good stuff in here, right? I'm setting this up so that I can show you exactly what I find. Here's the first box. I'm going to dump that sucker right here onto the floor, and we're going to sort through it. Ones that are not going to be good ones to sell immediately, initially, uh, those are going to be ones that um, I put off to the side, okay? But the good ones are going to go in this little box here. At first, I'm going to try this out and see if I can show them to you well. All right, so I'm going to try this first. I'll change some camera angles up here from time to time. That way uh, we don't get all, you know, it may, doesn't get all laborious here. Here's one. I'm going to I'm put this in. This is for Greyhound Racing. It's got a Greyhound on it on the front here. And that's pretty cool. I'm going to put that to the side. That's interesting. People who are interested in racing. Here's the Leopard Cafe cocktails and aperitifs. And it's got a little leopard on it. I think I'll, I'll throw that in the box. Sure, why not? I'm going to kind of sort through and push all these away here. I really just want to talk about the ones that I think might be good ones to sell initially. Here's one from the Bahamas. And it's full, but... Uh, I don't think that that's going to be as exciting today. I think I've got several more that'll probably go through. You know, some of these are a little bit torn up, uh, not that great, and I'm going to end up having to throw some of this stuff away because, you know, it's all not all that great. Here's one called Queen of the Seas, live Maine lobster. And you can see it's got a lobster there with a woman kind of riding on it. And this is a full matchbook, so I'm going to put that in. I think that's good. Here's one of the Stork Club. You can see it's got a stork on the front. I've had people offer me ones. I've already got one of these. I've already had many offers on it. So uh, I know that that's got some interest. So I'm going to put that in there. I think we might get something from that. So for those of you who have not been joining and don't know, I've got into a bunch of matchbooks. And this is the second time I've gotten into these matchbooks. And uh, they've been selling real nicely for me. This is kind of interesting one. we got a woman on the back there. Kind of Art Deco look. <clears throat> um... The ones that seem to be selling the best are ones that are like Tiki Bar related. Ones that are from either Reno or Las Vegas, Nevada. Uh, ones that are feature matchbooks, and obviously I'll show you one of those if I come across it. Um, or ones that have a picture that, so you've got two sides when it's folded. you got this side and you got this side. And then you flip it over, if there's a picture all the way across here, um, then that's a kind of an exciting one to do. Uh, but let me, uh, you know what, I don't think I love, I don't necessarily love the, uh, the camera angle that I got for you because you're hearing me talk a lot, but you're not actually getting to see these unless I hold them up for you. So let me switch that over a little bit. You can look at my ugly mug and maybe I can hold them up for you that way. All right, this one might be set up a little bit better. Let's try it out here and see. So I'm just kind of sorting through these. I'm going to hold them up as I find nice ones <clears throat> and you can take, take a look and see what I'm talking about here. All right, Pioneer Life Insurance. No thanks. Uh, here's one with a little uh, Navajo Freight Lines. That one might do well. I don't know if it's going to zoom in on that or not, but you got... Oh, come on, you camera. You say you're auto-focusing. How about this? There you go. See that Navajo Freight Lines? That's going to be one. I'll put that in. Okay, what else we got here? Ooh, Black Horse Ale. Right there, a little black horse. There it is. Kind of cool. Dawes Imports. I'll put that in. Now, if there's a strike on the front of it, Paradise Island then you know that it's older than 1973. In 1973, there was a, a rule that came out that you could not have matches that had strikes on the front because they believed that that was uh, unsafe. 
right? And so uh, if it's like this one, for example, is older than 1973 because it has a strike in the front. This is the North End, North Park in Dallas, Texas. Um, kind of rolling through. I'm trying to find some that have good uh, both pictures uh, and or are going to have uh, some matches in them that might ha be uh, what they call a feature matchbook. Mm, no, not so much. The Piedmont Hotel. Ramada Inn. No, not so much. Again, some of these might sell, might be decent, and I may be, I may be mistaken, uh, may be mistaken that some of these might be valuable. But uh, you know, I'll find out sooner or later. But I'm really just looking for ones that I know are going to be good from the very beginning, uh, because of the the limited experience I have selling stuff so far. Um, I'm kind of sorting through here. I'm um, looking the Boulevard Room. That's kind of cool with the Hilton Hotels. Boulevard room. I don't know. Is that showing it? Maybe, maybe not. It's not wanting to do it. Maybe you can see that. The Stevens Chicago Hotel. It's uh, it's full and it's a large matchbook, what they call a 30 strike matchbook. So I'm going to drop that in there and see if we can't get something for that. Um, Giovanni. Here's one a little restaurant. Menin. Uh, you know, Menin. Products, a little advertisement there. The Cat Key Club. It's got a little kitty cat and a key riding on a key. It's kind of cool. All right, here's one. I've got several of these. This is the Fred Harvey. There were a bunch of these hotels uh, back in the Southwest, back in like the 50s and 60s and even in the 30s, uh, by the Fred Harvey uh, was the guy's name. And there were several different ones around the Southwest, particularly. A lot of Native American and, and Southwest influences there. Um, see um, Norman Quartz on Highway 77 in Norman, Oklahoma. Hmm. Going through here. The advertisements, guys, on these are just so incredibly neat looking. I mean, they had, what, an inch, inch and a half to work with, and that was roughly it. Uh, that's about that's about it. It's like what could they do in that small amount of space? Here's the Beverly Hills Tennis Club in Beverly Hills, California. Can you zoom in on that? Goodness gracious, what's going on with my camera here? All right, guys. Okay, peaches, hold on now. Hold on, peaches. Not quite ready. Okay. Here's one for the 56 Ford. Wow, test drive a 56 Ford. So my guess is that that's uh, from 1956. That would be my goodness gracious. There we go. Pretty cool. Okay, running through here, just sort of a cursory, cursory glance. Blades. Not seeing anything super hot just yet. A radio in every room, huh? Hmm, we've got the finest cafe. Well, here's one. Here we go, guys. There's Here's one that'll sell for something. The Flamingo. Flamingo uh, Hotel, or uh, a Casino, Las Vegas, Nevada. Right there. Now, that's going to be one that's going to sell, folks. I'm going to put that in there. Again, stuff from uh, Reno, Las Vegas. If you have a nice um, picture of... Um, of the inside of a space, kind of what they used to look like back in the day. Um, here's another one of those Black Horse Ales. I'm going to throw that in there as well. Here's a good one. Yeah. Oh my goodness, this will really sell well. Okay, it's a front strike, which means it's older than 1973. It says, the fabulous Fontainebleau Motor Hotel, Hawaiian Luau. Check it out. Hawaiian Luau, guys. On the back here is a full color photo. So they're doing for color photos of this, so it can't be that old. But on the inside, it says Aloha, Nui Lao, or I don't know, I don't, I don't speak uh, Hawaiian uh, language there. But uh, you can see it's full. It's never been struck. And all of them are in place, and so someone is definitely going to want that one. I'm putting that in. Here's another one from the Fontainebleau. It's full as well. It doesn't say Luau on it, but I might even sell those together and really like kind of build off of the value of the fact that it's the same spot. Oh, here's a great one. Nice. Now it's damaged, which is a bummer. It's a 606 Club, but on the back, look, it's got this woman 
uh, kind of nude, nude or scantily clad, and she is uh, on these bubbles. We're gonna, we're gonna sh zoom in on that autofocus. Good night. Tell you what, I'm having issues with the with the camera today. Here's another little pinup, but you know that's the kind of a basic a basic one. Oh my, here's one also that will sell pretty well. This is again the Navajo, and it has some women. They look like Caucasian women dressed up to look like Native Americans. Quite, uh, that's a little bit uh, offensive, a little bit racist there. Um, another one of the Fontaine Blue. Man, I got several of these that are uh, full. That's great. Putting that in there as well. Um, still rolling through here. So I had I kind of all at once. I got had several all at once that were quite uh, nice. I definitely think that those will will sell well. Still haven't found uh, anything that is a, uh, a feature yet, but I have a good feeling about it, folks. I think that we're going to find something in here. A lot of these have been clipped, so it's apparent to me that someone uh, bought these. Uh, then they they traveled a long ways, or they were worried about. Um, you know them them uh, being potentially uh, hazardous because of the matches inside of them. If you don't know, uh, you have to ship these ground. Oh, here here's one that's kind of a, a an example of a feature match because this is the Roadway Express uh, Incorporated. It's a trucking uh, company here. You can kind of see this. If I open it up and you look at the matches themselves, they actually have text on them. In this case, it's uh, different. Um, you know, playing card. Uh, things on it. Now the, the matches themselves are clipped off. That definitely hurts the value of that. But somebody might be interested. It says Lucky Match Corp. I'm going to try to sell that one as it is and just see if somebody's interested anyways. Um, how it all began. Some of these, another Fontaine Blue. I don't know. I got several of these. I don't. I wonder if they're, if they're pretty common or if I just happen to have uh, several of the same kinds here. I'm not really sure. I'm kind of, kind of going quickly here because uh, I have so many. Algonquin, the Algonquin Club. It's got a Native American uh, figure there on the on the top of it. Um, now, doggone you, camera. There we go. Uh, that one will sell for whatever reason. People uh, definitely lack stuff that's a uh, Native American based, and I don't know if it's just because of how horribly they were treated at that period of time, or how that uh, people group has been historically uh, disenfranchised or not. Um, you know, I don't, I'm not here to try to like, you know, make money off of that by any stretch, but this is a reselling business, guys, and when you sell collectibles, uh, you gotta, you gotta see where, uh, kind of what the trends are at a certain time, and, uh, and try to capitalize on that. There are certain uh, categories that I just absolutely will not sell in. I, I don't sell, um, you know, Nazi Germany stuff, I don't sell, uh, Black Americana stuff, I don't wanna, I don't wanna be, I have no interest in profiting off of that junk, um. Here's kind of a neat one. Uh, on Gwentine released uh, the pain of sunburn, and it's a woman laying there, and she got this big old, almost looks like fire coming down. Like, I don't know, that's crazy. That's kind of a cool one because you can see that it's a picture that fills up the entire, the entire part there. So, um, definitely gonna put that in there to try to sell. Some of these ones, real estate, banks, stuff like that. People don't really tend to care about that a whole lot, and so. Um, you know, I'm not going to mess with uh, trying to sell those right now. Okay, the Pakir Pec Motel. Where's this at? Hallandale Beach, Florida. It's a 10 strike. Uh, and it kind of has that luau look. You can see kind of like a, almost like a native character there uh, with a mask and a spear. Uh, I'm going to put that in. I don't know if it'll sell or not, but, uh, you know, I'm definitely going to try it. Um, so we found a couple that are kind kind of like features but nothing like you know absolutely fantastic necessarily yet um okay rolling through here guys i'm only i'm not even halfway through this first box yet of all these that i've gone through uh and uh you know i'm already pretty confident that i'm gonna i'm gonna make oh here's a good one the blinking pup and the winking pup, it says. I don't know if he's winking or if he's blinking. I guess he's doing a little bit of both. But that's uh, that'll be one that I think I can try to sell. Okay, the Cotton Club. Now, guys, I have uh, I sold ones of the Cotton Club before. It was a different look. They sell sold real well for me. The Cotton Club on the back here. You have 
what appear to be uh, people, uh, you know, native, like of a native tribe or something, and they're in the nude and they're dancing. And for whatever reason, uh, this um, this seems to sell. And so, again, I'm going to put that in. I uh, think that I'll probably be able to get that sold. Here's some, some ketchup <laughs> from a supermarket. Oh, my goodness. All kinds of interesting things in here. The Ramada Inn. I'm not as interested in the Ramada Inn. There are some hotels that sell real well. Again, hotels that are in um, that are in Las Vegas or in um, in Reno tend to do real well. I haven't found any of those as much yet in here. Here's Colosimo's uh, Colosimo's dance. This is uh, cocktails, fabulous dinners. Oops, kind of see that one right there. Um, Sheraton's got a lot of hotels in this one. It looks like uh, that must have been what this person or people uh, collected quite a bit. Oh, the sun and sand, the sun and sand, and it's uh, full. You can see that one right there is full, it's like a hotel uh, in Biloxi, Mississippi. It says uh, for the vacation of a lifetime, folks. Sure, I'll drop that in there. We'll see what happens. Hotel Sahara. Okay, here's one that's a feature again, but again, it's got the, the little lady kind of on the front advertising. If you open it up on the sticks themselves, it says Sahara on it. That's great. Where is this at? Uh, Beverly Hills, California, it looks like. That one's got's going to be one that's going to go up on the first lot. Let's see what we can't get for that one. Tobacco. Goodness gracious. I'm excited. Steak dinners. Goodness. Everybody was saying that they have world famous steaks, chicken. I'm like, there can't be that many. I mean, how, how many world famous restaurants do you know of right now? They're world famous. They're famous for their steaks. Guys, there couldn't have been hundreds of, of thousands of them. I'm telling you that right now. You're not. They're all saying that they're famous and I don't believe it. Okay, here's one that has kind of like the picture all the way down it. You see that? All these different hotels. Florida, the George Washington, the Mayflower, and the Flagler. Uh, all in Jacksonville, Florida, in West Palm Beach. That's kind of a cool one. I think I'll drop that in there and just see. Uh, the, I, I tend to have, have found that ones that have pictures. Here's the Everglades Club. I've sold this exact one already, and it sold. So uh, since one sold, I know there's interest, and I'm interested to, to throw it back up again, see if I can't sell it uh, a second time. I tell you though, it's been hit or miss. Sometimes you, you sell one for a good amount of money and then you get excited when you find another one and you think, holy cow, I am going to just, I'm going to make so much money on this one. And then it sells for almost nothing. Here's one for a root beer, the Blue Rock uh, Beverage Company, America's Taste Sensation. Uh, I'm going to drop that in there. Sometimes, guys. And you know what? I'm probably passing over ones right now I don't even realize would be valuable. That are maybe really old or it fits in some sort of category someone is collecting. I just don't know about it, right? Um, here's another little pinup girl. That's a really kind of a damaged one though. It's kind of curling over. Uh, it's a pretty basic one. I don't, I don't even think that anyone would want to buy that. We'll see. You never know. You never know. I, all of these eventually will go up. And they will be, um, you know, for sale. But I really, what I'm trying to do here, guys, is it's what I preach and it's what I, it's what I practice. I live it. Is that once I buy something, I need to make my money back as fast as possible. I want to get my investment money back. I don't want to have tons of money out at any given time. So um, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm trying to make a, a good lot that I think will sell quick, like this one. Sergeants. Uh, what is this? Uh, it's feed, livestock feed, and on the back it has this black pig, and he's advertising, he's like, oh man, sergeant stuff is the best. So somebody might find that picture kind of interesting, and I'm going to I'm gonna try to sell that one uh, in this first lot. Morrison's military set of ink pens. That's a good one. Again, it's got that large picture, the full picture there. Uh, so I'll put that in. Nope, no uh, actual um, sticks in there. 
but we're doing pretty well so far. I'm happy with what I found thus far. All right, guys, I just got through going through this first box. I wanted to kind of speed things up a little bit. I pulled out a bunch that I'm going to put in this little box here to start off with, and I wanted to show them to you. Uh, here's the first one, Old Nick. It uh, says richest milk chocolate. It's a candy bar, and it's got the picture over the whole thing. So that one's going to go in the box. We've got Ham's Beer. Anything that's alcohol-related beer or liquor, uh, a lot of times, there, let's see if that'll zoom in there, uh, can sell pretty well. People collect that. That's one group of stuff that actually sells decently. Here's one from the Mirage. It's uh, the hotel in, uh, in Casino there in Las Vegas. It's uh, later than 1973 because it's got the stripe on the back, but because it is a hotel uh, and a casino in Las Vegas, uh, I'm going to see if somebody might buy that anyways. Speaking of those, I've got two of these. These are the, again, this uh, fabulous Fontainebleau Motor Hotel uh, right here, and you've got, let's see if I can zoom in on those right there. Uh, this is uh, these Hawaiian luau stuff. Anything that says Hawaii or luau on it, um, is going to be really awesome. I don't know what's going on with my camera today, but uh, here we go. We've got this one is uh, the Hotel Bannock, and it's got it's in Idaho, and it's got a Native American uh, with a headdress there on the top of it. That's going to go pretty well. We got this Beverly House. Uh, it's the uh, French cuisine and cocktails. You got this fancy dressed woman on the back there. I think that's going to sell pretty well. I just think this is fun. I don't know if it'll sell. It is pre 1973, but it is. Kentucky Fried Chicken, of course. <laughs> you got the little thing on the back there. Somebody might find that funny and, and want to get that. We've again got a couple more of these Navajo uh, Freight Lines ones with the little uh, kit on there with the little uh, headband and a little uh, you know feather. We'll just try. I got two of these, and these are going to both be features. Unfortunately, they're clipped, so they're not going to be as valuable. But the uh, commercial hotel, this is in Elko, Nevada. Elko, Nevada. Uh, it's a casino and a lounge. And on the inside, uh, you can see it, it's, it has like kind of the words and stuff here on that in a little picture. So that one will sell. And then I've already sold one right like this, the Ranch Inn in, Re in Elko, Nevada. And again, you open it up, it's the same kind of deal there. They've trimmed the top, so it's not as valuable as if the, the actual match heads were still on there. But still going to sell decently. This one is for Country Club in Pinehurst, North Carolina. That's the state I live in. And you got this full picture, beautiful kind of color uh, drawing there of this. I think just for the artwork, sometimes people buy these. And you can see also on the inside, it's got the numbers so that you can keep score uh, while you're golfing, which is kind of fun. This one's the Red Room Inn. Uh, Redwood Inn. Uh, Redwood Room at the Clift in San Francisco. And... What I thought was interesting about it is you open it up, it's got a big old redwood tree there with the big hole in it. It says, it took 2,000 years to grow this room. So I'm assuming they're using redwood wood in that room. Uh, polished redwood from ancient trees. So back in the day, I guess they let people maybe harvest them once they fell over and died. I don't know. Hopefully they weren't harvesting live ones. This one's going to sell, I know, because it is an actual photograph, black and white, of the La Cochina Plaza in old Albuquerque, New Mexico. And you can see that whole picture there, uh, the dining and cocktails is what it says on it. Mexican and American dinners, serving from 5 p.m. to 10 p.m. That's exciting. This one, I think, is nice just because of the picture on it. It's like an old picture of a, of a man with a, uh, you know, a fedora or a hat there, and he's having a cigar. Dean's Tasty Sandwiches. We've got this one, uh, the Hotel Mapies in Reno. Again, Reno's a good one. And it's got kind of a colorful or, you know, interesting looking script and stuff on the inside. They're trimmed again, but I think somebody might uh, be interested. It's the Sky Room. They got, a, I guess, a, a rooftop bar there. Here's one, the Harris Club in Reno. That's a good one. That's going to be a... Uh, Another casino one. You can see there's nothing. It's kind of damaged and yucky on the inside. But even with that, I bet this will sell. Harris Club, you can see all the little uh, you know, machines and stuff for a, a, a casino like that. Edwin Hardy, this is in Price, Utah, Monarch uh, Match Company. And you got this uh, specific kind of signature look of a cartoon here with a woman bathing and some guys uh, in the background kind of gawking. <laughs> okay, now I'm getting to some better stuff here, guys. This one is, it says, make a habit of stopping at the Coney Island. 
Coney Island, guys. Now, this one is in Peoria, Illinois, so it's not the Coney Island from New York, but anything that says Coney Island on it, people collect that stuff. Uh, on the back says, good food and good beer. It's got a, a picture of a beer there and a sandwich. Um, so we'll see if somebody wants to get that based off of the name. Here's the Kachina Room. At the Sunport, it says, this is a Fred Harvey Hotel series. And, uh, you know, again, they're, they're trimmed off there. But it says, 3,000 miles of hospitality. Fred Harvey Hotels. Um, this one's a neat one. Uh, it's the Hacienda in Old Albuquerque. And you can see that, come on, light. Goodness gracious. You can see here that uh, you got this little man sitting there by a cactus. That's a feature matchbook. It's pretty cool. Um, moving on, we've got this one, which is, uh, it says Fox Selena Theaters. And uh, it's got this nice little um, kind of picture there of these people riding on a, a, a little, you know, kind of the horse's horse-drawn buggy. We've got the Roosevelt Hotel here. In New Orleans, New Orleans Finest, because it says New Orleans on it, I think. It's a full one as well. It's never been used. The Blue Room, cocktails and things. I think somebody's going to get that. This was a neat one right here. This was baseball. Um, I don't know why this is having such a hard time with the light today, but I apologize about that. We got the baseball and uh, baseball bats and like the balls and all this stuff. Really cool stuff. Uh, this is an old one, guys. I don't know how old, but it's pretty old. And it says, play ball on the top of it. I love that. This one right here is the Kahlua Room. And you can see it's got like an old totem there on the back. It says, exotic, tropical cuisine. This one is absolutely going to sell, even though it's trimmed off. I know it. Got a few more here, guys. Got the Sun Valley in Idaho. It's America's foremost sports center. You can kind of see these people here kind of playing, uh, kind of playing here. Uh, they're skiing downhill, little downhill skiing stuff going on here. It's kind of neat. Then we've got, this one's a neat one, Ronald Wilson Reagan from the United States. He's the President Seal. Someone came to some sort of event at the White House, or there was some sort of event where they had these. And uh, you can see this was after 1973. That's why the strike is on the back. But the fact that this has Reagan's name on it, that's pretty awesome. Here's one that's a uh, drink Old Colony root beer, and uh, I've not seen one like this uh, with this particular brand, New South American Cola. So it's a South American brand. Uh, that's going to be interesting. These are super cool. This one is for a gin brand, Century Dry Gin. But the thing is, on the front, it has recipes, and you can actually, it's got a little uh, metal ring here, so you can actually slide this over to actually pick the certain, um, to like, it's got numbers underneath, and you can get the right recipe for whatever quantity you're doing. Really kind of a neat neat one. I've sold ones like that before. Okay, guys, a couple of really awesome ones here. This one is a first at Fremont, Las Vegas, Nevada. It's This is, I mean, so many good things going on with this. Nice picture. It's in nice condition. It is uh, a, a Las Vegas, Nevada one. Um, it says Pioneer Club, Cocktail Lounge and Bar. you got old uh, cars on that. On the inside, uh, the tops are clipped. That's unfortunate, but this is going to sell for over $20. I almost guarantee you. Okay, guys. This is the greatest one I found in this box. I'm super excited about it. I could not believe it when it dropped out. Absolutely could not believe it. Uh, it is a Holiday Inn. I'm going to show you the back first. It's a Holiday Inn one. Nothing super exciting there. Just sort of a map of this and that. But on the front, it says... Mickey Mantles, and it has a picture of Mickey Mantle's face. Are you kidding me? Mickey Mantle? I had no idea this was going to be in there. I am overjoyed. And you open it up, it says Mickey Mantle's Holiday Inn. It's got the directions and where it's at and everything. Oh my goodness, it's a uh, US 71 Turnpike Interstate 44 in Joplin, Missouri. And you know what's crazy about that, guys? Joplin, Missouri is where I went to college. That's, that's true. That's a true statement. Mickey Mantle. Holy cow! Guys, I want to leave you with one more. I finished box one. I'm going to jump into box two now. Sorry you had to suffer through the lighting in this one, but guys, I am so excited about what I'm finding. I just started into box two, and the very first thing I pulled out is one that says The Last Frontier in Las Vegas, Nevada. If I open it up, it is a feature. It has been trimmed, but you can see these ladies here dancing. I've sold one like this already. I'm going to make $20 to $30 off of this one. So between the Mickey Mantle one, 
this one, and there's one or two others. I'll make my money back. And now I've got this, this medium box and one gigantic box to go through. If I find some goodies in this one too, I'll make another video. Thanks for sticking around, folks. Uh, I'm going to put these all in in auction uh, as an L1 lot. I'll put L1 in the, in the title. And then in a week or two when they sell, I'll bring them back and show you what, what we got out of it. Take care, cousins. Rusty, rusty, rusty hair.